walks over that. to Al, looks at him that. and says, Now, Alphonse, what the hell are you doing down here dealing with these criminals? It looks like you need some help. Something's jumbled up inside of you. You got like a bad shorty sitting in there or something? So Al had the other girl, Martel, sitting in his suit. So she takes over his suit and starts choking Bradley. And Dawes just looking at her like, <laughs> Well, ain't you a stupid bitch? So he snuffs the sword and kills him! Nah, bro, this man is a demon. So then some minutes later... Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the ring. Hey, 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 hey! Um, yes? Hey, um, listen, kid, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, your round table, Black Air Force, Hall, Senate, whatever the hell it is, uh, yeah, that's not ready yet. Um, excuse me, I have a trial to do today. Wait, wait, well, wait, uh, the thing is, it? we didn't expect you to come back that fast. Cause if we look at your track record yeah. back in 2022, it looked like you only uploaded like <laughs> once a month. Yeah, I mean, I was in college writing too bad. It's not right. So what does that mean? <laughs> Simple kid, you're homeless. Man, uh, this is some old bullsh. Oh. I guess we're doing this one from the street then. <sighs> Exhibit A. Read, nigga, read. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A, deceiving an entire country. So in the beginning when you see Bradley, you look at him and you're like, oh, I mean, nothing seems that bad about him. I mean, look at him. He looks like a nice old caring man and a great leader for his country. But <laughs> little did we know that behind this smile, behind this mask, there was a whole different. You, a man like Adolf Hitler, he can be good. He can be nice. But be, behind closed door, behind the smile, he turned into a different person. Don't always trust the people that you think that are nice. Never do. Freaking dog in there. I mean, you could start to see the glimpses of it in the first episode. You had the freezing alchemist talking about, y'all boys what? don't know a damn thing about this country, do you? That so-called king, Fuhrer, whoever the hell you be following, that motherfucker is not who you think he is, I'll tell you that. And later on, when this man is on his last that? leg running away, that? he finds Bradley in a dark alley. And Bradley looking at him like, yeah, oh, 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 I'm oh, about oh, to oh. Thomas and Martha Wayne your ass in this dark alley, boy. You can see the fear in this man's face. He is laughing hysterically because he knows his ass is about to die. So he starts running at him and Bradley's just looking at him like, <laughs> trash ass, <laughs> what you running at me for? He already knows he's about to die. And that's why I just said, Bro, you knew you were going to die? Me, the fact and that bro watched this man just by dying? unsheathing his sword what is just the... crazy. Then after this, look at the 180 personality turn. Ah, the Illig brothers. Hey, how y'all doing? Are y'all okay? Don't worry, the situation has been handled. I just gave him a little bit of Southern hospitality. Oh, so you tell me. When you tell me with him, you didn't even have no remorse of killing him. But then when they come... You can turn around to me, hey, hey, y'all, I, I, I had uncontrolled, I got the, like, it, it wasn't too bad. So, what made you change your mind? Now, run along, y'all. Yeah, I got <laughs> eight, it's that eight dollar hit in the building <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah, so-called son of yours, that absolute f***ing <laughs> abomination of a child. <clears throat> but, uh, anyways, but well, ladies and gentlemen, let's Wait. take a little look at this Wait. flashback of Bradley not giving a damn. So when Ed was having his alchemist what? examination, bro mm -hmm. tried to pull a fast one to impress Bradley and he's like, yeah, you know, you should really rethink these examinations because <laughs> this would be an easy time to kill you, my boy. So Bradley said, wow, not bad, not bad at all, kid. But, uh, <laughs> watch your jet, little nigga. Huh? Hey, my boy, I got high hopes for you, though. Oh, hell no. When this Hold on, what the? Sword? 
But no, what's even oh, crazy? Oh, Before I even get into the segment, though, R.I.P. my boy Hughes, you know, <laughs> he was a real nigga. And also, f that nigga Envy. All my homies hate Envy. I will personally go to his funeral and take a fat stinking dookie on that man's casket, bro. But you Jeez, see, Jeez. the funeral for Hughes, right? So they see this man Bradley shaking over here. So you gotta be thinking when you first watching this, oh, I mean, he's just shaking because, you know, his comrade just died. No, yeah. this man is shaking in pure rage because Hughes' daughter is crying at her dad's funeral! Oh my god. Bruh! Fuck wrong with you, cuh? Dog is like... Oh my god, this stupid little bitch don't shut the fuck up! I'm oh, stupid stupid ass I think you're trying to the man. Your comrade died, not good. I think you're trying to the man. Your comrade died, not good. We finally get to see how ruthless this man is when he goes to hunt down greed. So, bro pulls up in the sewer and says, Well, 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 what the hell do we have going on down here? Looks like a fuck fist of illegal activity in my country's sewers. Now, I'm gonna need to see some IDs. <laughs> IDs? Why should I have to comply? Because, motherfucker, I am the law. And when I see illegal activity in my country and they do not comply with my law, then I will have to use force and open a can of whoop ass on your dumb ass. So this man Greed keep on talking, but Bradley cuts off this man's hand and he's like, I told you, if you don't comply, I'll have to use force. Now bring your ass over here and stop resisting. And Bradley started peeing off on bruh. So then he stabs this man in the neck and he's like, yeah, you like that boy? I told you to stop resisting. So then Greed looks at Bradley's eye and he ends up realizing, oh my God, this old ass nigga's crying. Yeah. You know who I am now, don't you, boy? Now you see, Greed, do you want to know what you are? All you now want you is a know lazy, really lousy, is. greedy piece of gorilla shit. <laughs> now then, you absolute waste of oxygen. How many times do I have to kill you to make you stop resisting? So then later on, Alphonse ends up seeing Greed walking like a dead man, but he just falls with a sword in his neck. And Bradley's like, and that makes 15. God damn, you're a tough cookie, aren't you, boy? This man has killed Greed 15 times. So then these other Chimera end up pulling up. And Bradley's looking at him like, what the hell are they doing? I hope whoa, they're not whoa. challenging me. Goddamn fuck. Are, are y'all real shit. by challenges, man? I don't even man. know their goddamn name. Like, so they start they running out. Like Bradley go. just made one quick work of them. Bro, cut his big ass in the cheese cubes. So then Grease start talking again like, hey, so looks like you made light work of my fodder friends. Well, I have you know they meant nothing to me. Killing my p Are you seriously, really pray to the Lord? You're, you're, you're great, you're great with coming soon. You're great with coming soon. Possessions like that, who do you think you are? Greed, you pathetic scum. I told you to stop resisting. But then Bradley starts blitzing him, beating the dog water out of this man. Then he's like, oh, you stay put you there, just stay I'll down. be right back. You so just then stay he down. walks over to Al, looks at him and says, now Alphonse, what the hell are you doing down here dealing with these criminals? It looks like you need some help. Something's jumbled up inside of you. You got like a bad shawty sitting in there or something? So Al had the other girl, Martel, sitting in his suit. So she takes over his suit and starts choking Bradley. And Dawes just looking at her like, <laughs> well, ain't you a stupid bitch? So he snuffs the sword and kills him. Nah, bro, this man is a demon. What the? And then some minutes later, Al ends up waking up. He starts crying because he couldn't save her. So then Bradley walks over and he's like, now, now, boys, before y'all go, I got some questions for you. Number one, what the hell were you doing down here with these criminals? Number two, did you do any illegal activities with these criminals? And number three, did you trade any government classified material with these criminals? Cause if you oh, did, oh, why, why, why you switching up? Why, why you like switching up? Like, like you didn't have nothing to do with this. Not do anything. <laughs> well, aren't y'all some two good, nice little boys? All right, and now y'all have a good day. Be careful going home now. <laughs> no, the personality. Oh, no, 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 no. So then after no. this, some time passes. He literally watches Lust die. Bro, standing behind the corner like, 
hmm, should I go in there and help her? Or should I keep my cover? I mean, I don't want to blow my cover then. I'm a whole ass humunculus yet. I mean, her cooch is not even really all that. Nah, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. So then later on after this, they end up wow. trying to go hunt down Scar. But Bradley's in this alley and he's like, Gluttony, come on and bring your fat ass out here. Yes. Are we going to be able to eat them as a snack? So then Ron Fawn and Ling end up intervening. But then here come Bradley. Well, what the hell do we got here? Looks like some foreign invaders in my country. I'm gonna need to see your visas and your passports. But you know what? Never mind. F that. I'll just deport you in a body bag. So, bro, this is Lon Fawn. Jesus Christ. Nigga hit the death. From zero to a hundred. Then he's looking at Ling like, now, 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 where the hell you think you going? Now the only way you leaving my country is in a body bag. So he starts swinging and he used gluttony to hit him over to the other building. So then he goes over to him and starts saying, now listen here, I need you to stop resisting because I have some questions for you. Question number one, who the f are you? Number two, why are you here? And number three, weren't you in one of my goddamn jail cells like four episodes ago? Well, I mean, uh, your security is kind of ass, so I mean, I broke out kind of easily. Well, aren't you a copy of some bitch? Throwing flashbang. Ah, you bastard! Bring your ass back here! But then Bradley throws a sword at him, and he says, Hmm, looks like your flashbang worked on my other eye, but this one, <laughs> well, you see, I got tack mask on this one. Now then, boy, I need you to stop resisting. So please comply. Then Give you can die. Yeah, but they ended up having a grenade, so they ended up escaping Bradley. Demon. And he's like, oh, demon ball, cool so heart, dragon. Bastards. He so he keeps on tracking them down forever. And the only way they were able to escape him was for Lon Fawn to cut off her arm and strap it to a dog. So it would throw the scent off of her track. And he's just looking in disgust like, hmm, well, ain't this some shit? Little crafty bastards. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. All right, now, so look. Before we get into Exhibit C, which is probably some of the most mm -hmm. unadulterated, insane shit you I want ever to see in your life, we have to get to Exhibit B, exhibit which is a? this man's or I? and him Wait, literally committing Order 66. I don't even care about so this exhibit man Bradley B. was but raised in see. a lab with a bunch of other little niggas for the sole purpose to become the Fuhrer. So they basically had these little niggas trapped up in the Red Room on some Black Widow sh training day and night with these creepy ass doctors. Look at Dog, bro just stabbed him and he over mm -hmm. his shoulder like, oh yes, very nice. Don't worry, he's just a bitch nigga here to help you with your goals. But obviously the true purpose of all this was for father to what? pull a philosopher stone in somebody, wait, make a look, wait, monkey wait, with some wait, wrath and rule wait, the wait, entire wait. country. So a bunch of people died during the process because they couldn't withstand his power. But Bradley survived getting shot up with this damn Captain America super soldier serum. And this man became Captain Amestris. Well, no, he just became Raph in the Fury. So during the Ishvalan War caused by this mm -hmm. crack baby, this man Bradley issues Order 3066. Now you may be wondering, oh, wait, what does wait, that mean? Well, look at the last two numbers. This man executed Order 66. <laughs> so he had state alchemists, including crazy ass bastards like Kimberly, this absolute psychopath, to basically exterminate the Ishvalan people. So after they were just completely slaughtered, mm -hmm. their high priest ends up right. surrendering to Bradley. So he wants Bradley to kill him so he could stop slaughtering his people. But then this man Bradley said, well, ain't that some pathetic shit? Do you really think your single life is important as these other niggas? Now you listen here, buckaroo. I couldn't give a damn about you or your people. So do yourself a favor and fuck off. <laughs> <sighs> fuck you. You shall be struck down by the hammer of God. <laughs> God, hey, hey, y'all hearing this shit right now? <laughs> Talking about he gonna strike me down. Hey, why ain't he done it yet? Oh, oh, wait, exactly. Cause he's a bunch of baloney. Boy, ain't no 
fucking way, boy. That's right, I said it. Do it yourselves, you rat bastard pussies. Yeah, uh, this man Bradley has committed some absolute atrocities. They were literally killing these people to make philosopher stones. So now we go back to the present day. So the government starts moving forward with their plan. Bradley basically got this man Mustang under a hostage situation. Dude disbanded his entire company, then started telling him, you know, I really can't stand you damn humans. Y'all really do piss me off. Oh, and also that thick shawty Risa, she's my personal assistant now. So I could keep a close on her if you know what I mean, Mustang. Then later that day, he calls Ed and Allen there and start saying, now listen here, you two little uppity ass boys. Y'all little rambunctious fatherless and motherless children have been pissing me off since day one. That's why your mama dead and your daddy went to go get milk and never came back. So y'all are perfect candidates yeah. for the sacrifice. You, you ain't have to say that. But I just quit. Now you see, I can't allow you to do that, boy. <laughs> well, I just did. What? What's that shot that you like again? Uh, Winry. Yeah, yeah, her. I'll fucking kill that bitch. Hey yo, what the fuck? Now that's what I thought. Now run along, boys. Oh, but Alphonse, just one second. So you, you telling me that you're you're you bribe him? Not bribe him, but you telling him that you might kill somebody that you love again, love, and then you go love if he don't join you. That, that look like bribery, but I can't tell. But why? He already quit, but I, I can't see him. <laughs> My bad, I thought you was hiding somebody in there again. You're dismissed. And now nah, what's crazy, <laughs> May was hiding in his suit the whole time. So then one night, Greed and Link's body runs up on Bradley and commits home invasion. He's having PTSD when Bradley came and spun his whole block. So Bradley's like, wait, what the fuck are you doing, Greed? Running up on my goddamn property, boy, I done beat your ass. So Bradley started beating this man, oh, throwing him around in the and he was about to kill him, but Greed used that army man hockey, mm -hmm. and he was like, nah, G, this ain't it. Hey, ho, where the hell you think you going? You just gonna spin my block and leave? Well, ain't you pussy? So then after this, Bradley went away to a training exercise. So he's on the way back coming on the Polar Express. But Roy's rebellion set him up and caught this man lacking and they ended up blowing up the train. Oh, seemingly mm -hmm. killing this man. <laughs> seemingly. Exhibit B. Exhibit C. We had we had to give a give a little prompt on what he did but but when the Jimmy B came we we were past past giving him props because this man is on a mission he on a mission to 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 do something and we don't have no type of clue what the mission is but he on a mission to do something and Whoever gonna be able to be tough enough to stop this man, y'all need to get. Y'all don't. It might. It might end up being too late. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the exhibit. Actual exhibit that I want to see. Black forces. So the rebellion right, to right, stop right, father's right. plan looks like it was a mm -hmm. success. The Fort Briggs men fully take over Central, and it looks like they finally won. Well, uh, 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 until somebody came back. Hello? Hello, is anybody on this line? Hello? Oh, shit. Olivier, is that your fine ass on the end of this line? But anyways, let me get serious. Greetings, I'm back. And it looks like she has fallen out of control since I've been gone. As, as of now, I keep motherfucking Bradley. We'll be personally They take over my goddamn house. My goddamn property. Goddamn rebel scum. I'll show you. Ugh, where's he coming from? <laughs> He's coming to the front door. Hang up the damn phone. Salute thy nigga. Oh, uh, are y'all here? At, at this one man. Rebel criminals on my property. Bag your ass up. <gasps> yes, sir. All oh, this damage control. I hope these rebels have insurance. They gon' need it. 
So this man Bradley is about to storm his own castle. Look at Dog rolling up his sleeves. So then he's like, did these rebel scum really think I would just walk in the back door of my own goddamn house? I think I'll walk through the front. Thank you very much. So bro hit the dash and he is deflecting bullets. Oh, hell nah. Dog cut the paint shell in half. And look at the collateral damage. Bro hit a triple collat on some dudes that was just minding their own business. Oh man. Man, that's a terrible way to just go out. So the dude in the oh, tank no, like, no, oh, no, 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 what the hell are you doing, Sergeant? Take over the controls! Uh, yes, sir! Oh, la -di -di, la -di uh, where did he go? Oh, uh, yo, this is sore. Well, f me sideways. Oh, oh. Just took out. out a tank and came out of that hole unscathed. Nah, bro. And he just walking in. They are just terrible. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, nah. These are nah. Fort Briggs nah, men. Nah, they nah, was hyped nah, up to nah, be the nah, rawest nah, of the nah, raw. Nah, and they looking like some real bitches nah, right nah, now. Nah, Shoot, nah, I would be too if I just saw a man take out a tank. So then this man Buccaneer ran at him. But Bradley said, We sit your dumb ass. Oh, you stupid bastard. And bro, still walking. And he got up, then he crashed him again. Nah, bro, this man Bradley's one of the coldest men to it's ever do. Stop. Bro, just nonchalantly washed the buccaneer. Oh dude was built God. up as a hard ass Why? with the tool. So then he looks Why? at old dude and says, Now, what's the issue? Your country's leader has returned. So open the goddamn door, Lieutenant. <laughs> I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna fold. Oh, my homie's gonna call me a bitch. Just phone. What's wrong, Lieutenant? You're gonna piss your pants. Are, or are you gonna? Let me say it. Are you gonna really fall, or you just want to die as a little, little girl? If you don't want to die, I'd rather just fall, fall, and and just be called a little girl. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if I get called a little girl. But I'm not I'm gonna risk my life and get shot and killed by this dude. This dude is ten times. The uh, ten times the Hitler Hitler was. Then Greed ends up showing up for round three, so they start scrapping and this man Brad oh, not this No games took off the eye patch and just started going crazy. So then the other dude starts shooting them, but Dog activates Ultra Instinct, washes the soldier, and gives a stiffy to Buccaneer. Man. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, pause. Hold on, let me redo that. Uh, he he stabbed him. He stabbed oh. him in the gut. So we're sores in his gut. Oh my God, bro. Uh, Anyways, bro so. picks up some knives from a dead body, and bro's like, hmm, this ain't my weapon of choice, but it'll do. So then the old grandpa ninja ends up pulling up, and Bradley's just looking that at him like, what the hell this old man gonna do? He think he gonna make a difference? <laughs> what an idiot. So he starts scrapping with both of them, so he catch the old man lacking, and he said, hmm, looks like you're older than I am, but this is as old as you gonna get. <laughs> But Grandpa. then Grandpa Fu ends up getting up again oh, and tries to blow what himself the up. Well, but no, Bradley no, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Cut the fuse. No, the you're grenades. dead. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. So yeah, but that man was done. The, but Buccaneer this man took the favor fuse and out the grenade. So Green started running at Bradley, but Bradley right. still opening the can of whoop ass on. So they about to fall off the palace, but Lafon saves Green. And the soldier this shot man, Bradley, like, and he lost his grip and fell down into the water. So after this man caused complete chaos and killed Fu and basically Buccaneer, you gotta think, oh, he's dead. He must have just drowned to death. No. Yeah, yeah, right, no. right, right. This man right, pulls up on Mustang like and is still kicking. <laughs> Holy moly, this man's durability is out of this game. I thought, like, I thought you, well, you said good, you were dead. Mustang. You know, Mustang, I thought you said you were dead. You really do piss me off. I, I can't stand it when I can't predict how you act. But anyways, bring your little stupid ass over here. So Bradley pins Mustang down and he's like, well, 
time to make you a sacrifice. So he ends up making Rory go through equivalent exchange and he basically ended up making the man blind because he lost his sight. So after this, Bradley's not doing so good. He's taking too much damage and that brother is starting to bleed out. So he's like, well, come on then. Who wants to dance with the Fuhrer? Who wants to kill me? Come on, don't be a bitch. So then Scar ends up stepping up. So Bradley's like, oh yes, oh yes. You see, Scar, no, I've been no. waiting he for turned, this day. He turned Ever ocean mode. He turned ocean mode. He turned ocean mode. Since your uppity ass came running up and making a ruckus in Central. Now you ready to join your people, nigga. Now come get this <laughs> So Scar punched me brightly like, come on, you goddamn pussy. Swing! You can hit me harder than that now, can't you pussy? So they start really, really scrapping. And this man Bradley is on the verge of death, but he looks like he's having the time of his life. It got to the point where this man Scar had to use alchemy. Man sees this John is taboo and had to use it. Bradley's like, hmm, well, ain't you an interesting boy? So they continue to fight, and at this point, Bradley's just talking shit. Bro saying, where's your god at, huh? Where was he at when I killed all your people? Answer me, nigga. Look at you using alchemy. Have you abandoned your god? So Bradley gets scarred down, and he's about to kill him. But before he does it, he says, and you think your god exists? That nigga ain't shit. But then an act of God happens. The shun signs and Scar hits Bradley and he finally finishes that man. But he still grabs a piece of his sword and stabs him. Jesus Christ, bro, this man is a demon. Dog said, if I'm going out, then I'm going out with a bang. So while Bradley is on- So he has to go out with like, a banger, uh, a banger you know, kill. Daddy. So I he dying? He got go out being killed. So then kill. Lon Fong comes over and she says, "Did you even love anybody in your life?" <laughs> well, I tell you, my wife had some really nice coochie. I will tell you that, boo boo. And see, look, girl, girl, <laughs> you was asking all them questions. You ain't even gonna get vengeance for your grandpa because I'm about to die. <laughs> so you can suck my dick from the other side. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll just stay in my box till my haul is ready. If you're an enemy and you want to be a tough person and you want to mess with somebody tough, go go fight King Broly. Go fight King Broly here. Go bow and run like a bitch. Or do nothing. Your choice. Like and subscribe. And don't miss another L. J. The action music.